Welcome to Crude Tube. I'm Captain Crude. NFL is rigged. Here we are, 2023 preseason, and that's what I want to talk about today. Let me just get a couple things out of the way up front. So, if you're new to my channel, Crude Tube, I'm your host, Captain Crude. And uh, I do NFL videos, NFL's rigged videos all season long. Stick by this channel. Subscribe, comment, do all of that. I love it. Now, I'm getting sick and tired of YouTube, you know, running commercials during my more popular videos and me not making any dough off the back end of that. So I'd love to get over a thousand subscribers by the end of this season. You guys can make that happen. And I'll tell you why. Not only do, since I've been doing these NFL videos, have I been spot on with a lot of the picks, especially the Super Bowl picks the past two years, spot on. I'm predicting a lot of other things as well. ESPN going to a more gambling-oriented app, and then... You know the, you know this season with the running backs getting the shaft with the money. I was spot on with that. So I'm not a guy who makes videos and does a lot of editing with, you know, uh, NFL video to show you how games are rigged. I just give you the straight dope right to your face, usually from the car, sometimes at home. Now get the business done with NFL preseason. What are we talking about here? Three preseason games. Now, does anybody really pay attention to these? No, not really. But it's always thrown in as part of your season ticket package when you pay that exorbitant amount of money for NFL season tickets for whatever team you want to support. So people end up going to these games. Now, everybody knows these games are pretty much an excuse for coaches to see, you know, the the talent level they have and what they have and blah 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 run plays and you know none of the stars really play they'll show up stand on the sidelines take pictures for fans who have the good seats whatever but when i was a kid in the 1970s i think there were six preseason games and 14 regular season games i think that's how they did it then by the late 70s, I believe, it went to a 16-game season with four preseason. And now we have 17-game season with three preseason games. What I recall growing up since that point is nobody ever laid money on preseason games. Like, nobody. Because you all knew it was a joke. Nobody wanted to bet on that. There was no real odds on it. I didn't even know Vegas was taking odds. I didn't know anybody who was doing it. But now... As was pointed out by one of the best commenters on my site, Ryan Boyd. Peace, dude. He pointed out he was watching a preseason game the other day with Kansas City against the Chiefs. And something looked a little fishy at the end of the game where Kansas City throws a pretty obvious pick to set up a Saints field goal. And the Saints win the game. So I don't know what kind of money was on that game or what Vegas looked like, but it looked very fishy. I actually did watch that footage, and I'm like, oh, yeah, something was up. So I think there is something going on with these games Vegas-wise, but would I touch it? No, nothing. Zilch. So another thing about the preseason games is you get three of them now, and... Your favorite teams, I, I, don't, I don't know how to explain it, but what they're doing out there is trying to establish who they are on the field. And if you watch closely when these teams play, you're going to see the teams who are fucking with the other ones. I don't know how else to say that, but they do. They fuck with the other teams. Showing one thing, there's something else during the season. It's all smoke and mirrors. So, gambling-wise, preseason's a joke. Even the press, you know, trying to write stories during the preseason, it's a joke. You don't, They don't know what to write. They have nothing to write until somebody gets hurt, which is inevitable. Then you have a little story to write. But what you're doing is you're prepping for the regular season. 
And from a gambling standpoint right now, if you can catch odds on who's going to win the Super Bowl, do it. Put $10 down on it. Uh, on whatever team you're going to make bank, you have as good a chance as anybody else. But this is right now the Patrick Mahomes League. He's the leader. He's the top of the food chain. Uh, whether they let him go to another Super Bowl, his fourth in five years, I doubt it. So during this preseason, you're going to see which team is going to get that push because you're going to start noticing on ESPN, on uh, Fox Sports or whatever, you're going to see little pushes here and there, certain players, certain teams, and you're going to realize, keep an eye on them. So what I actually noticed was like the Buffalo Bills, everybody wants to choose them. They're a fashionable pick, but the gamblers, they're a lock. I mean, they hit over 70% on the spread last year that's called in the money and this Josh Allen guy who I once claimed wasn't a star yeah he's not a star he's a company man he knows what's going on if you take the bills every game this year 17 regular season games same amount of money every week you're gonna come out a winner because it's not about win-loss it's about covering the spread they were very good about it and a lot of teams who suck about it are like the New York Jets. They're always awful. But now you got Aaron Rodgers, so all bets are off until you see how he can throw in the Meadowlands. But always, if you're going to do any kind of investigating or reading about NFL and gambling and stuff, check out their percentages when they're in the money, winning on point spreads and who's best at it. And that'll give you an idea of who the NFL is pushing. So last year was the Bills. Bills went pretty far. They were always good against the spread. I believe the 49ers were another team. Uh, a couple of teams, like, you look at them and you, you wonder why they're so bad. Yeah, they're never covering. They never will. Vegas is the main reason why NFL exists right now. It's all about gambling. So there's my little preseason thing. Uh, I'll be back with you in a few weeks with my NFL preview with every team. <gasps> Look forward to that. Okay, until I see you next time, peace. Cheers.